I live with four girls. I also have a wife and a female dog. And guys, I'm 39 years old and I look like this, so there you go. But anyway, any of them got into trouble, the other three would be there for them all the time. You mess with one, you mess with, you mess with us all and... Yeah, there was one time I was afraid for myself. <laughs> You don't mess with the Pleva sisters. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember that day? Mm-hmm. And it was December 5th, and you and I were home, and Dr. Oshkari called me, and I grabbed the phone from the kitchen, and I went into the basement, and I shut the door, and he said, um, Jamie, it looks like it's, it's going to be cancer, but we're going to get it. And I opened the door, and you were standing there, and I said, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then you yelled at me <laughs> and you said, stop apologizing. And then you gave me a hug and you said everything was going to be okay and not to worry about it. That was a bad, bad evening. Tracy was down in Jersey and she was admitted to the hospital down there because after nine years of battling breast cancer, we found out she had pneumonia and she was not doing well. That was the night that we started our journeys between the two daughters all the time. You and mom went back and forth. And neither of us were ever alone. And that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> we had no choice. No, you have a choice. Because we wanted to be there and we wanted to do it. I mean, whatever. You did so much for me that most fathers will never have to do or go through. You gave me shots. You gave me my medicine. You held my... And you didn't have to hold my hair. I was bald back when I puked. Oh, yeah. You took me to the hospital to have my eggs retrieved. That was a very surreal day. And I remember you coming in and saying, today I'm helping one daughter say goodbye and bring an end to her life and help another daughter secure her future. Because we had to go to Tracy's funeral right afterwards. Do you think you ever fully dealt with or accepted the loss of Tracy? Never will accept it. No way. I always feel like it should have been me. I don't think I'm ever going to forgive myself for being here when she's not. I don't know what to say. Um, if anybody should feel guilty, it should be me, not you. I'm the one that carried the gene. My mother died of cancer, two of her sisters died of breast cancer. You survived it. You're doing a good job at it. Do not think of anybody else but yourself right now. No one has died. You're not going to die on me. There is no friggin' way you're going to make it. There will never be words that can say thank you because in a way you guys saved my life when they wanted to stay in bed and not get out and not fight and not go to chemo. You guys were the ones who came in and said, you can do this, I love you, it's gonna be okay. That's why I was strong. I had you, I had mom, I had my sisters. If you weren't as strong as you were, I wouldn't have been able to handle it as well as I tried to handle it. So I mean, if anything, I wanna thank you for being strong.